everyone. I'm Colleen with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Today's saint comes to us from South America. Saint Martin de Porres was born in 1579 in Lima, Peru, the illegitimate son of a Spanish gentleman and a freed slave woman. After a couple years in primary school, he was placed under the tutorship of a barber slash surgeon in order to learn the art of cutting hair as well as medicine. Now, by Peruvian law, no one of African or indigenous descent could become full members of a religious order. And being mixed, Martin was no exception. In fact, he was often put down for his racial heritage and for being illegitimate, but he did not allow this discrimination to hold him back from the life he desired. Martin loved God above all things, and he wanted to become a monk so that he could fully serve him. So he looked for a way into the order of Dominicans. At the age of 15, he was received into the monastery as a servant boy, doing the most menial tasks. And in turn, he was allowed to wear the habit and live with the religious community. While there, he used his skills as a barber and a healer, and also spent some time working the kitchen, the garden, doing laundry, and distributing money to the poor. After eight years of service, the prior Juan de Lorenzana decided that it was not fair to refuse Martin to be a Dominican brother based on his race. He chose to overstep the law, allowing him to become a full member of the community at the age of 24. Martin demonstrated such a profound love for the Blessed Sacrament that he would often pray for hours without moving. He is said to have experienced ecstasies, lifting into the air with light filling the room as he prayed. Martin's heart was so pure and humble that one time when he learned the convent was in financial trouble, he begged his superior to sell him as a slave in order to pay off the debt. Obviously, his superior found this suggestion admirable, but out of the question. Eventually, he was placed in charge of the infirmary. Soon, miracles started to happen around him. People were being healed through meals he prepared or even after he brought them a simple glass of water. He quickly became known for his compassionate heart that loved without distinction between social classes, race, or religion. Martin's heart was so much like Christ that at one point he brought an old beggar covered in ulcers and laid him on his own bed to care for the man. When a fellow brother protested, Martin only replied, compassion, my dear brother, is preferable to cleanliness. When a plague hit Lima, many of the friars fell sick. They were placed in a distant part of the convent, locked off from the rest of the brothers. But Martin is said to have miraculously passed through through the locked doors to care for them. His love extended to all the needs he saw around him. When he died at the age of 60 in 1639, tales of his holiness were widespread throughout the surrounding areas and countless people came to pay their respects. Martin's life was miraculous, not only for his many miracles, but also for his pure love and humility that could only come through an intimate relationship with Jesus. I pray that we too grow closer to Christ in the Eucharist and learn humility through constant prayer, through fasting and abandonment to the divine will. Saint Martin de Bores, pray for us.